gravel cycling endurance event how many calories should you be taking down every hour um, traditionally uh, the rule of thumb for endurance events you know triathlon or endurance cycling events is look 60 grams an hour 60 grams of carbs so 240 calories an hour and I've stuck with that for a long time recently I had the opportunity to chat with a nutritionist that works in conjunction with a professional cycling team a continental team so I asked this person on a longer stage 100 miles let's say what's the nutrition plan for most cyclists what do you have them doing and the feedback I got from this person was look if I have a cyclist and they're not taking down 90 grams of carbs per hour I'm going to have a talk with that cyclist to see what we can do to help them take down more calories and I thought wow 90 grams that's like 50 percent over what I thought was a safe limit to avoid gastric distress later on in an endurance event so I asked this person are, are you building up to that or you know is there a secret and uh, the feedback I got once again was look this is a this is a sport standard um, this is a rule of thumb uh, and it's nothing unusual there is variability in what a person uh, can handle in terms of cards per hour when they're uh, during in a state of exercise but uh, 90 grams is not beyond the pale and by the way have you tried do you know what your limit is um, if you haven't how can you say uh, give it a try because if you can take down more carbs you will benefit from it so if you followed my Strava activity feed you know that um, I experimented with that I went out and I didn't take it to the limit uh, but like I say I'm traditionally I'm taking down 240 calories an hour uh, if 90 grams is not unusual in a pro cycling peloton that's what I did I ramped it up to 90 grams and it seemed like it was okay um, so recently um, I did a hundred mile endurance event um, and this was my nutrition plan right I during the race I consumed this this is glucose dextrose powder I had this mixed in a bottle with uh, some electrolytes right so liquid drink uh, 400 calories and then in hour one I consumed three gels hour two three gels hour three three gels hour four hour five not shown here three more gels in hour six so 18 gels all together these these say 110 uh, calories per pack but you don't get it you don't get everything out of a gel pack right so let's call it 100 calories so 1800 calories works out to be basically um, 380 calories an hour and I felt fine um, and I had more pop in my legs at the end of that race than I have pretty much any other 100 mile gravel ride that I've done and and I'm here to say that I wish I could say that was all due to training but it really wasn't it was mostly nutrition so I'm a believer um, and by the way zero gastric distress during the race and after I got done with the race I pounded down some water had a big plate of tasty spaghetti and um, drank a soda and I felt fine I felt fine um, so yeah give it a try if you if you are accustomed to the old rule of thumb of 60 grams of carbs an hour uh, and you're going to and you're considering doing some endurance events it's going to pay for you to go out and experiment with a higher and possibly much higher as much as 50 percent higher intake of carbohydrate calories during endurance rides uh, if you can take in more calories you're going to benefit from it so you know don't be afraid to press the limits a little bit see what you can handle